Here is a quick tutorial on the auto star controller. So you turn it on, starts up. You can always just hit enter or mode just to get past all the date and time. So this is kind of where it starts. If you hit mode again, you're at the setup. So within the setup, you use these bottom arrows down here. So setup is a line, date, time, daylight savings, telescope, target, site. Site is where you're gonna change your location. So you have to change your location. So you hit enter and it says select, use the down arrow down here again at the bottom. Add, delete, edit. So you'd want to add and then you can do it, I believe by zip code. Yeah, so then you say one by zip code and put in your zip code, that's the easiest way. All right, I'm gonna go back. So we were at site. And again, you can scroll up and down using these eight keys at the bottom. So we'll go back to telescope. Oops, all right, so you go to telescope, hit enter. Telescope model, you can hit enter and make sure it's the right one. This happens to be an ETX90. If not, you just scroll up or down until you find your model. Hit enter, you have that model. Scroll down to the next menu within telescope. Don't ever change these alt, these ratio things, leave those alone. Mount is two options, alt as, or if you tip your mount, you can do polar, but we're just leaving it alt as. And then there's focal length. This will all be set um, automatically focal length by the telescope you chose. The percents, you're gonna leave the same, then you're gonna see train drive, but I would do calibrate motors first. So keep going down until you see, do calibrate motor. Hit enter, and you'll see it's going to move left and right and up and down. That's just it's learning how the motors move with the battery that you have. You're on calibrate motors. Mode is like the back key. Go back. You're in the telescope setup. And again, you can go down until you find. Just remember, mode always goes back in the menu. Enter kind of chooses what's on the screen. So we're going to find train drive. Oh, I'm going to buy it. So train drive, you hit enter. I'm not gonna go through all this, but it's gonna give you two options. There's your as, um, as a train, that's your rotational left, right. And then if you arrow down, it's the deck train. That's your up, down movement. So you're gonna do each one of those. And when you do that, you have to be outside looking at a object in the distance. Um, and it's gonna tell you to like center an object in the eyepiece. And then it's gonna move the telescope. Like when you do an azimuth, it's gonna move it to the left. It's going to tell you just to use a certain arrow button like this one to move that object back to the center. And then you hit enter. And it's going to move the telescope the other direction and it's going to tell you to use the next arrow to center the object. And then when you're done with that, you enter out of this and you say train drive again and you do the opposite one. You do the alt deck train. Hit enter. It's going to tell you to center an object. You use the up down key to get an object centered in the eyepiece. And then it's going to move either up or down and tell you to use the up or down arrow to center that object again. All this is doing is it's um, learning how much it has to hold the arrow key to move your telescope and recenter an object. So it's training your drives on, on how far the drives have to move to accurately move to a certain position in the coder wheels. So you really need to do that calibrate motors and train drives before you go and use it because otherwise um, it will go all over the place. Hope that helps.